Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous Redux version. I'm your host, Kyle Shade. Normal difficulty, episode 24, we're in the inn, and I'm going to respec one more character. We have a character here, this guy. And we're going to respec them into character that looks like this. Uh, they're going to be our tower shield specialist. So... But we're going to start with two levels in Barbarian. Um, and and my thinking is to get them is strictly so that they can have Uncanny Dodge. Um, they can evade a penalty to their armor class in some situations and become, become immune to some enemies' tactical advantages. If you go to Pack Rager, get a bonus feat. Uh, she cannot be caught flat-footed, nor does she lose her dexterity bonus to AC if the attacker is invisible. She still loses her dexterity bonus to AC if immobilized. This is important because, believe it or not, the Tower Shield Specialist is a dex class. This didn't make a lot of sense to me until I started reading about it on Reddit and experimenting with it myself. Because traditionally in Dungeons & Dragons, it's been one of those situations where if you put heavy armor on a character that's going to negate their dex bonus but if you put light armor around them then they get more of a dex bonus well the tower shield specialist actually gets a skill that allows them to keep adding dex bonus so they can keep utilizing dexterity bonus on heavy armor even though the heavy armor will say like you only get zero or one dex bonus not true so that's really cool but since they're a dex class you don't want them to get caught flat-footed so i think it's worthwhile to put two points into the old pack ranger we're going to make them an asimar because we want wings later that's this is going to be a really high ac class we're relying kind of on everybody else to do a lot of the damage um and we're going to make them dex and wisdom they get mobility and athletics checks so and we're going to take some of these points and move them around we're going to go regional and we're going to say river kingdom daredevil are going to get plus two ac against attacks of opportunity and then we're immediately going to poke this up to 19 and all remaining five points of theirs are going to be put uh in something else they don't need any charisma from this. Um, they're going to get, let's see, three points of int so that they can be able to do, I think it's combat reflexes. Um, I, th I think the real question is how much con do you want to spend on them and how much strength do you want to spend? You can put some, you can do this 14 to 14. It's totally fair. I think it's probably enough. I think the problem with the class that I have done is I haven't gone out far enough to see if it becomes a big issue uh, with the with 14 versus 6 as far as their strength. We're going to try this so they have a few more hit points. Um, but really, you don't want them getting hit at all, which is why they're going to be a tower shield specialist. So they're going to get mobility. I'm going to give them perception. Uh, let's. The dogs always take care of athletics. I'd probably rather have... Do I, ha I don't, I'm not even sure I have anybody with persuasion. So let's do that in lower nature. So starting off all of the defensive stuff is, is where this pretty dodge die hard. Um, you're going to get shield focus AC bonus granted by any shield you're using by plus one. I'm just going to start grabbing. There's a ton to grab here. Um, and I think I'm just going to go Erastal. Let's see. Awful neutral, neutral good. Sure. Let's either that or who else do I want to take? I'm going to go with Saren Ray so he can be buddies with Socio. It doesn't really matter. Neutral good. Sure, that works. All right, my friend. All right, got his clothes done. Uh. All right, my friend. This will hurt. Yeah, uh, well, you hope so. So, two levels of barbarian. He gets his uncanny dodge. 
perception, lower nature. Let's keep going with persuasion. I'm, again, I'm not sure. Right. Well, we have Ember. I think she works. So precise strike. Uh, if he's flanking, we want to get outflank later. But it says we've got to have base attack coordinates of four. So he gets that. Now we just go tower shield specialist the rest of the way. Tower shield specialist. All right. And it's all the defensive stuff. Um, oh, you do want weapon finesse. He's dexterity and you're going to be wanting to use um, a dex weapon with it. So it's not a 100% all defensive stuff. I got my list here of things that I took up to like level 11. Um, so we're going to grab weapon finesse at this level. And then you're going to want to take dodge. Next level. Start poking those points in the decks. Let's see. Yeah, perception mobility. Okay. Then next. Combat expertise. This is the one retrade. For defense. Tower shield specialist. And now the game will just automatically assume. Oh yeah, you want tower shield specialist. And it won't keep asking me about the other one. So, uh, die hard is a good one. To have. You want him to stay up. He's your tank. Did I grab the right one? Yeah, mark And then next, okay, and did we already get shield focus? Yes. All right. So now we're going to get um, exotic weapon proficiency, and we're going to go with the s talk. It's a finesse weapon, one-handed. It's pretty much the best choice unless you want to use a much smaller weapon like a kukri or something, which I don't really want to. I want him to still kind of have the uh, the look and feel of someone who looks like a tank. So the s talk pretty cool. There, they they do exist. There are a few. There aren't a ton of them in the game, but uh, all right. Shield focus. Let's see. Great shield focus that's coming. Let's see. Weapon focus. S dock. Another point in Dex. Mobility. And then here is where you can do this. Choose one kind of one handed piercing weapon. And you can add your dexterity modder and strength modifier to it instead of damage. And oh, so there's also improved critical. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. So we can do a little bit more damage. And oh, and there's an extra point there. Nice. All right. So then there's improved critical. And then next time it's going to be outflank. So let's do this. All right. Mythic ranks. I wrote these down too. All right. This has got some coins. Remember, he can't lose, since he's got uncanny dodge, he can't lose his dex bonus unless he's paralyzed. But that is taken um, very, very easily by unstoppable. Anytime you become paralyzed, you become staggered instead. And then anytime you become nauseated, you become sickened. And anytime you become shaken instead of frightened. So that's a nice one to have. Mythic companion. And then uh, for this one, I took shield focus, mythic. Um, this is add your shield bonus and your shields enhancement bonus to your touch AC. It's not like there's a ton of touch AC things going on here in the game. So you don't necessarily have to take that one. You could go with uh, dodge instead. Which I actually might do here. So let's do that. It's not like Pathfire and Kingmaker where there were a thousand touch attack enemies. So there's that. And then the other really good one to take here is... Last Stand, of course, is nice. You become unkillable once per day for two rounds. 
Uh, we'll get that later. The one I like here is rupture restraints three times per day. You automatically dispel any effects that make you frightened, dazed, sick and shaken, staggered, nausea and stunned, paralyzed or confused. So again, we're just trying to eliminate any chance of this character losing their dodge bonus to AC. We're going to go in here, stack this armor on here. Doink. Um, let's see, do we have the tower shield yet? We should. Who had it? Was that? Uh, oh my gosh. Right there. Sila, give us this. What does she have here? Solemn hour. It's a long sword. Okay. She's got a belt of mighty constitution. She's got what this? AC against undead creatures. We're going to take that away from you. Sorry. We're going to take this away from you because she's not going to be. We're going to. We're going to sideline her. So. We can take all our stuff. Sorry, darling. All right, and then this is Lethal Squall. Ooh, I might want to save that for somebody else. All right. So now, this fella is going to get that. We don't have an S stock yet. We're going to go buy one. So for now, he's just going to do this. Uh, we get a plus four ring of protection. Slambo. We get Dexterity and Constitution Belt. That puts it up to 40. Get a better one of these. Cloak Resistance plus 2. Cloak Resistance plus 3. Uh, natural Armor plus 3. He's at 43 now. This is going to add against Undead. And that's it for now. So that's the character. He's got 43 AC at level 9. which is, And that's before buffs. So I like this guy. It works out pretty well. Okay. Is there anybody else we need to level up? No. We can go but on with the adventuring part of this campaign. And you, my friend, he's going to get... Uh, belt of Constitution doesn't matter for him. He's going to get this. He's got a ring. Uh, headband of Inspired Wisdom. It'll give him... It should give him some saving throws. Um, braces of Armor, since he doesn't have any armor yet. Or did we... We pulled some armor, didn't we? Right there. There we go. So now he's at 23. He's got he's got marching terror. So he's gonna smack some stuff around with that. That'll be good. As a pet. I like that. So the only thing we have really left to do, um let's see. We're gonna hire this Yeah. It's ninety I got ninety thousand right now, and this is only gonna get more expensive. Okay. So that I have it for later in the game, I'm going to get a brown fur transmuter right now. Now it's going to cost us money, which is too bad. But unfortunately, in the custom photos, I have a really cool picture for a brown fur transmuter because there is the Triceratops. <laughs> I love this character. It's great. So you go down here, Arcanist brown fur transmuter. Uh, really great class. Um... I'm going to make it uh, an elf only for role-playing reasons so that it matches the picture. But other than that, um, I'm sure there are better choices for your brown fur transmuter. Basic elf. We're going to go to regional and say uh, mobility to our class skills. I like this. River King of Daredevils is great. Um, so she's going to go high dex, high int. Let's see. Can we get 19 in there? We can. But I'd like to take uh, Brown for a transmit. And they do need they do need some points in charisma. Let's see. It gets 13. I can't quite get 14 in there from oh no, that was the thing. That goes 17. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Let's do it this way then. Because <clears throat> you could put a point in the decks and then four points into the rest of that. This will give you... There we go. I like this. They need this. This allows you to use your ability to siphon a spell and add it to your arcane pool. And the more charisma you have, the more times per day you can do that. Um, so it can be pretty useful. And then you can poke one point in the decks and four more points in the int. This class, unlike my class, which is what I consider an Eldritch Knight, in that it's 
offensive power, dual wielding, and you've got spells for buffing. This character, I guess, in my mind, an Eldritch Knight is like 65% offense, maybe 70% offense, and 30% buffing. This character is more like 60% buffing and 40% offense. It's a little different that way. I'm also going to, even though it's not a class skill, I'm going to give her stealth because she's going to end up being helping out with the whole stealth thing. Uh, and then use magic device. Stealthing for camping. So, right off the bat, ton of different stuff here. Let's go. Combat reflexes so they can make attacks of opportunity. We also want to give them two weapon fighting later. So, let's do combat reflexes now. Then potent magic up front. If you were playing this character from level one, this would really help with the spell grease to make sure that you can land it and a whole bunch of fall down and you get all these attacks of opportunity and they go kaboom, uh, which is great. So it's early in the game. That's how you'd want to use it. I'm not necessarily sure I would play this character that early in the game, but you could. All right. Got that magic weapon. And then there's like, mm, there's nothing else that's really awesome once you've got that stuff. So, I don't know. Stunning Barrier, which you'd never use, or Touch of Gracelessness, uh, that kind of stuff. Erastal, she's an elf. Neutral good. Give her kind of the darker skin. Like what the... And she's got some reddish hair. Yeah, like that. Okay, let me give her some. Like that. There she goes. Alright. Alright, my darling. So she's a brown fur transmuter for a while. Uh, I'll do her later. We don't really need her right now to go do all the adventuring stuff that we're going to do. And plus, we don't really even have a lot of the things that she would need to work. Like, she's got... We got dual-wielding kukris for her. But she can't use them yet, because she doesn't even have that skill. I'd have, to, I'd have to level her up for that. That's what she's going to do, though. She's really similar to my class, except her focus is way more on buffing. And she's going to be able to take her personal target only transmutation buffs level six seven and eight the really really good ones and she's going to be able to give them to our our two fighters so hogus gwem i'm listening knight commander all right nothing else going on um let's see skeletal executioner all right is there anything else I really, really need to do? We got all that stuff. We could go sell a couple more things, but I don't think it's a big deal. Let's do this instead. Let's head for the gates. Oh. Spells. Do I have everything memorized? I do. What about Socio? He's the other. He's the only other person we really have to concern ourselves right now. He does not. Oh, right. He's going to have four death wards now. Oh, man. Let's start at level five and look at what he's going to have. Break enchantment, which I just still don't always think of as being very useful. Ray is dead. Do we have any diamonds? We don't. We need to go buy some. Um, genie kind. That's a personal spell for him. So he gets this. He's got a cleanse. What else has he got? Pillar of life. Righteous might. This is, again, if we need him to, to jump in there and start fighting beforehand... I mean, uh, as part of like the melee group, then he should probably have that genie kind. I'll give him some stuff. So that's, he's got some self buffs there. Protection from energy, communal. Okay. Restoration, which requires diamond dust. Uh, I'm going to hang on to a couple of those and then a summon monster, actually just one and two summon monsters. Cause we'll use those more often this. Okay. We're going to grab one more magical vestment. That's set up that way. I'm not even sure we're going to use that small summon elemental. I'd probably rather have these monsters because they're dogs. So they get the chance to trip and bite and all that jazz. All right. 
So we'll get out of here. We'll go do some adventuring and some crusade management stuff. Um, all of our spells over. I keep, I keep my my uh, spells over here for the undead. Usually, what I do is put them over here in the second one because I like to have this, like this, like this. These these necromancer spells, though, some of the higher level ones are just so so good. It's unbelievable to me how good some of them are. They are great, fantastic spells. You should visit the Citadel before leaving Justin. Okay, fine. Fine, there's a whole bunch of people that want to talk to us. We'll go do that stuff. Visiting the Citadel will give us a chance to rest anyways and get socio spells 100% ready. And then we can head out and there's just a thousand things to do in Act 3 here. Seal kind before you stands a tall fit man whose dark hair is already tinged with gray. He greets you with a brisk military salute. My name is Captain Silkind. I command the vanguard of mercy troops called the Blackstone Company. We've come from Andorin to assist you. Okay, so I'm just going to blast through a lot of this. All right, get on with your duties then. Yes, sir. Glad to be under your command. So he's there, Blackstone Company. Be some. Here comes Arushale. Erebeth said that we're under threat from demons with unusual abilities, like the Nabasu that attacked your army at the Lost Chapel. They're very powerful and they're growing in number. You haven't found out where they're coming from, have you? I think. I'm not sure. I think I have a lead. Hmm. Okay, where can I find this informer of yours? Green Gates. So there's some stuff at Green Gates. And we'll want to go down. How did you find out about this? It's a long story. All right. Does this Jarunica have special powers? Her? I doubt it. She's a hag. So she's given us a quest to go do that. Zechariah, student, you have proven yourself a worthy crusader. To defeat the demons in the war, you have fearlessly sought the secrets of death. Your determination deserves respect. Now we can proceed with your great transformation into a lich. For that... I shall need a suitable laboratory where I can scrutinize and condition your spiritual body in solitude, preparing it for rebirth. And as for you, you will need a palace from which to rule over legions of the dead. Give the order to wreck the ziggurat in Dresden. All right. Okay. I will see it done. Do not let me down, student. We won't. And then there's these guys. Kyar, the Everbright Crusaders have arrived. Queen Galfrey is gathering the main attack forces in Nerosian. She ordered us to replenish the losses suffered in Canabras and come here. We will support the troops. We are ready to go. Morveg, he's fun. Morveg, don't speak unless spoken to. Don't worry, no one will be defeating any dragons without you. Great, you will be serving under my command. That is without question. All right. We know about your powers and that is why we don't trust you. What's more, I'm convinced you are an enemy of the Crusaders. You will reveal your true nature sooner or later. The Queen ordered us to help you hold the city, and so we will. But she didn't say a word about us personally obeying your orders. The Everbite Crusaders will act independently. Fine. Do as you like. You've gone down the wrong. You can defeat the darkness when your soul is pure and your heart is daring. Everyone who has ever tried to defeat darkness with darkness has become its slave. Reject this evil power and repent before it's too late. He's mad that I'm a lich. Well, too bad. So... Crusader affair stuff. <clears throat> we'll get some of this taken care of. Issuing edicts and orders and all that jazz. Um, so other. The ziggurat. First things first. Logistics. Let's get that started. Relics. The fate of Shoalshear. We can't work on that until. Uh, fate of the unholy symbol of Rovag. Issue that decree. Development outpost of Bastion. Gotta wait. Rank up. Forming the military council. We'll do that. And then everything is done. Forming the military council will cost us a day. So we can do that. The military council is now formed. There is nothing else that we can do except for these. Now you got these. Spies of the Abyss have attempted to infiltrate Dresden to find out the commander's plans. It was only a chance that they were stopped. The officers have suggested an increase to security. In anticipation of new attempts by the demons. So, choice effects. This, 10 Inquisitors are recruited. 
adds 1,500 leadership points, deducts 200 military points, adds 3,000 leadership points to send the specters to spy on the soldiers, or unlocks the senior comrades degree, adds 1,000 leadership experience points, crusade morale is increased by 300. That becomes a repeatable thing that you can do. I'm just going to go for this straight up 3,000 points because you're going to have other decrees later and you only need a couple of decrees really. So, <clears throat> frenemies, a conflict between two officers led to the defeat in a skirmish with demons. One of the officers, a charming young noble, tried to save the lives of soldiers. The other, a cynical veteran mercenary, acted based on principle that victory is all that matters. The soldiers from each unit blame the other's unit officer for the defeat. How should the investigators arbitrate the guilty parties? Choice effects. 3,000 leaderships if we punish both of them. Crusade morale is increased now. Our morale right now is 20, but our banner of victories because we don't have any banners is not high. Punish the veteran mercenary. It's finance points. Recruitment growth for all trainable units from the main barracks in the archer range increases by 15% for 30 days. We're going to do that because especially because i want more archers so that shows up here 30 days for that cursed children demons have been stealing children in cannabis and possessing their bodies so they can get close to the crusaders to deliver a dagger strike the officers are asking how they should proceed when encountering the possessed saving the children must come first crusade morale increases by 30 all units receive the vulnerable feet yeah i don't think that's very good safety of the soldiers must come first to get 550 of those if we were the Azada, we could choose something else. And then this unlocks the hunt for the kidnappers decree. 1500 diplomacy, experience points, and 60 energy points. We'll take that and we'll launch the decree when we have a chance to do it. So there we go. All of that's taken care of for now. And we're out of here. I'm using my pause button so you guys don't have to watch loading screens. All right. I have some information for you, Anivia says. Though what I find found is mostly innocent. It might be cause for concern. All right, tell me. Soldiers have been gathering in the graveyard to play cards. Yes, this is a quest with Sosil. All right, thank you for the information. I will go handle it. Night gamblers. And then here comes Captain Odin. Commander, it is an honor to call this first meeting of the military council in order. So... They're going to talk about military stuff. They're going to blather back and forth about Karimzada. And then they're going to say, now we have a choice to make. This is what I do. I just skip to this, skip to the choice effects. The main barracks can provide weekly recruitment growth of champions, powerful shock infantry. All footmen are promoted to champions. Champions have 23 hit points, AC 10, master or great sword 15. Put our faith in the tight formation of shield bearers. They have AC 17, heavy pick. Damage reduction one or new recruits. You get conscripts who are AC 16 short sword plus six. I go with champions. I don't think it really, I'm not sure that really matters too much. Uh oh, yes. And then I do want to rest. Okay. Shaylin teaches us to see beauty in everything. Does that include people's disfigurements? When they are chopped up in war? Enjoying wounds is not Shalem, but Zan Kathan's teaching. Wounds need to be healed or prevented. And sometimes beauty needs to be protected with weapons. That's one way to put it. So, we are ready to rock and roll. Done all that we can do. It's time to move on. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure I didn't put anything in here, but. Yeah, I don't have any fanciness in there. Okay. We're going to head out. We're going to make one stop along the way. Unless it's nighttime. To the streets. The Half Measure Tavern. What's there? The Dragon Hunt. Oh, right. Okay. Let's do that first. We got to talk to Grey Boar. Grey Boar. The very Grey Boar that he is. I like his character in that I don't like him, so but I don't like him because he's a good character not to like, so if that makes any sense. I think he's a good character as far as a character they created. I don't like him precisely for the reasons I shouldn't like him. He's just a mercenary. How can I help you? Alright, I want to hire you for a dragon hunt. A large adult female? Yes. The 
one that's been snatching people and carrying them off? I've heard about her. That's an impressive target. I can take this job, but only if we do it soon. I'm expecting a new assignment from my regular client. And I'll have to leave as soon as I have the orders. And of course, you should know that this dragon will not come cheaply. Two and a half thousand gold paid in advance. I do really like the way Graybor is voice acted. Yes, Excellent. I'll pay you. Let's get down to business. It's no easy thing to take down a dragon when you don't have wings. So you'll need to follow my lead. The best thing would be to catch her by surprise in her lair. But we need to find it first. Of course, since she doesn't leave tracks, that might be tricky. But I think I have a solution. We need to go west of Dresden to the Grimwood Forest. Very well. The dragon's been seen there often. According to the scouts, this is likely because there's still some wild game left in those parts. We'll set up an ambush there. The ambush I is hope really I can disappointing. Rely on your honesty. I understand that on our way to the dragon, there may be other fights or places we need to visit for various reasons. That's to be expected. However, should I see that you are deliberately delaying the contract? Or that you're dragging me off to assault some demon citadel instead of going after the dragon. We will have to revise the terms of our agreement. Now that's pretty much exactly the way uh, Minsk works in Baldur's Gate 1. He wants you to go find Dinah Hare right now. And if you don't go get her expediently, he leaves the party. I don't mind that part. But Minsk brought with him a giant miniature space hamster, and he was funny. And Grey Boar brings with him nothing except a sourpuss attitude. So <laughs> it's it's for that that it's like, eh. Um, but having said that, I will say these characters are at least... 10 times better than all of the characters that I encountered in my first 20 hours trying to play Encased, which if you're not familiar, is a post-apocalyptic role-playing game that's supposed to take its spiritual roots from the first two Fallout games. Every single one of the NPCs that I ran into in the first 20 hours was awful except for one guy. They were rude, crass, mean, short-tempered. There was not a redeemable quality among any of them. And all I could think of was, did the developers who made this game, were they all just a bunch of assholes too? Because that's the only kind of character they seem to know how to make is an asshole. It was so annoying. I couldn't play the game. After 20 hours, I uninstalled it and I quit. I thought the combat stunk and, and the characters were horrible. Oh man, the combat was so unbalanced. If you thought, if you thought that the combat, if you thought like I did the first time playing Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, that the combat was a little difficult here, wait till you play Encased. In fact, don't play Encased. I would advise nobody to buy that game. Oh, you shouldn't buy that game and you shouldn't play it. You shouldn't torture yourself that way. So we're going to take these people and we're going to do this. We're going to head out into the wild blue yonder, but we're also going to get uh, an army put together. Yeah, and Case gets the full thumbs down from me. Full thumbs down. Okay, Crusader armies. These guys are what? Shield bears. So. Shield bearers. You know, shield bearers. There's actually a, a, a beer elemental in this game, which is kind of funny. Um, these guys are going to go down here. Okay, they're marksmen. So what do we have? You can get everybody turned into marksmen later, which is really cool. But it's not going to happen right now. So, do that. Marksmen. Rangers are AC 16 longbow. 1 plus 1 damage 13 to 20. These are much more damage. So I'm going to put them there. We're going to send... 
these folks over here. I kind of use this as a staging area for everybody else. This is going to be rangers and spearmen. I'm just going to call it. Actually. Spearmen. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. Let's do that. Crusader army here. Now this is where it gets fun. Okay. We need a bigger size. <laughs> I'm going to take the champions out. Because... Um, Masterwork Greatsword 15, these guys are immune to sleep death and a whole bunch of other stuff. This is really cool. Every time you defeat an army, it's going to produce zombies, which is really cool. So you can immediately add them to your army if you want to keep the zombies in here. I prefer to run mine like this. But this does end up being pretty cool when you can get up to size 6 and 7 army. And, uh, and you've got your zombies in here. For right now, I'm going to take... These guys, and again, they're just back up. And these are going to be zombies. 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 All right, and these guys are mounted scouts. Okay. You kind of don't want everybody to be together because then they stack on top of each other. So This helps me keep track of everything. And then if we go to our demon striker's army, we can start to make some progress. All right. Oh, and then we can hire guys because it's the first of the week. So more archers. You always want to get as many of those guys as you can. And then we don't have enough buy resources probably. I need what? Like 2,000. Not quite 2,000, but let's do that. 68. Okay. We got a free search. Do we have any more of these guys? No. Then I'm not worried about it. We're going to move these guys down here. Join the forces. That jumps us up to power 8, which is nice. Okay, so over here is... Ruins of Ashbury Hamlet. There's all these green ones we got to attack. So this is Green Gates. Definitely want to go there. Let's just do some mooring. And then the neat thing is you'll be able to hover over the army and see what kind of uh, loot they're going to give you. So what do we have? We don't have any of the really good spells yet. So let's take these guys out. He's dead. That didn't sound good, did it? All right. What do you, can you take all of them out maybe? No, not quite. They're trying hard, aren't they? Alright, can you kill these guys? Maybe you can't. You did! Good job. Oh, nice. You get a second hit. Alright. So, what I want to do is this. That should be enough to finish them off. Come over here, you cowards. All right, you guys want to heal yourself? That's it. We don't need you to do anything else. Backstab. Positioning does matter, but it matters a little bit only. Not a lot. So there's that. And we get these. The Bracers of the Heavy Hand. Grant the wearer plus three damage on damage rolls with offhand weapon that dual wielding. Blah, 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 blah. It's great for dual wielders like me. Um, right here. So, instead of having Elven Lucky Bracers, we can do this, and that's going to give me more damage right over here in the offhand. You can see it change over. That's pretty cool. And then, Emba's got those, and he's got those, and that's enough. Okay. So, back to the army. Oh, Demon Strikers. How many more can we get rid of here? We need to go capture that. So let's go over here. But yeah, you can hover over these armies and see what we have here. There's no nothing there for that one. Belt of Giant Strength plus four and Chill Roars hide and tusk for that demon army over there. So we'll probably go in that direction. These folk. Remember, he's our frontline fighter. 
and then me yes like that okay that'll work nope don't need to enter the lost chapel we're gonna head over in this direction until we all get tired fail to sneak past enemies okay if you say so that's the thing about having that brown trans brown fur transmuter in the party is you basically have to take Lan out to take that person into the party um, which I don't necessarily want to do but it is kind of nice to have them this what is this it's a Nalafeshni damage reduction except for good power track to seeing true scene and unholy aura immunities electricity spell immunities to all the dominate stuff didn't say anything about sleep though it's got spell resistance though it's got super high spell resistance in fact huh okay ember hmm not affected by the target spell resistance well hit that thing there then me i'm going to haste us all and there's a really cool necromancer spell later at like level six that what it does is um basically slows all your enemies and hastes your group at the same time and i think it also does like a vampiric touch for the whole entire party so all your characters get hit points it's some great 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 necromancer spells after having played azada and angel I'm way in favor of going as a lich. They just have so many better spells. Okay. <clears throat> Align. Good. His weapon. You. You're going to rage. Good. Take the power attack off. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. You're going to rage. That's fine. What about you? You've got your rage set up. You're going to be defensive casting combat expertise let's switch you around You're not gonna be mounting anything yep so do that both of you guys are raged good uh oh there's a spider behind us <laughs> where is skeleton he's in here somewhere skeletal executioner turn around you get that one All right, who's doing what? He got hit. Ember, you're about to hit that thing, aren't you? Uh oh, I need this up. Uh, I hate this. I hate how this works. I hate how small that uh, little icon is there. Barely get that in there. Okay. And then it does that. It just scrolled back up. <clears throat> now, Two-Face tries to do combat. Gosh darn it, stop scrolling back up. I actually want to see this. If you use this button to lower it to do the uh, crusade management combat and then go back to here, it has real problems. So it's usually better to go like this or this um, instead of using that button. Two-Face tries to use combat maneuver trip against Snell and fails. What's he get here? Oh, because he rolled a one. Of course. Okay. Well. Now, Emmercast glittered us. Will saving throw succeeded. Rolled 17 plus modifiers 21. So he rolls a 17 and I roll a 1. Okay. Well, <clears throat> in that case, Ember. Uh oh. Have you hasted everybody? Good. Protect yourself. Ember. What do you have for spells here, Don? Hmm. Let's see. Socio, what are you doing? You're about to hit that. Hmm. Can you make this thing sleep or is it immune to sleep? It's not immune to sleep. Let's try to put it on the floor. Okay. It, that, that one died. Oh, and that's over. Okay. Well. How's my... Has my guy down here. I love that, that she has this now. 
I should put it right here. It's... I have the healing spell for you. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> I've got Ember. Ember to cast those spells. It's great. In addition to myself. We can keep our skill. Well, that's the thing. Later on, you get undead companions like Staunton Vane and some other people. You could have a whole party of undead. And then, uh, except for Ember and, and have her helping you heal everybody. All right. Okay. Characters are fatigued. Sure. Let's do this. Let's see. Who's the best at camouflage? Yep. It's me. Who's the best at night watch? It's him and him. Amber's the best at scribing scrolls, but she doesn't have the scribe scroll ability. And the protective ritual person is, yeah, him. Okay. So, yeah. Begin resting. I'm sorry about what happened to you. What? What happened? What are you talking about? Oh, right. I was born a monster. Thanks for reminding me. No, he meant about the night before when you spilled the beans in your lap, you dummy. Alright. Now let's see about our group of demon strikers. I want this. Yeah, because that's what I want. Alright, let's go get that. I want that belt of giant strength. So, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You can go around here and target what you want. Um, some of these are relics and things like that that need a little bit of augmentation. Some relics are kind of useless. Some relics are kind of awesome. So... So we're going to do this instead of messing with this thing. We're going to scoot that down as much as we can. Um, fire. Poke. Poke him good. Oh. He's going to throw boulders at my archers, aren't he? Yep. Okay. I'm going to stay right there. He could get over there and hurt these guys, can he? Yep. Okay. In that case, you guys are going to stay there. Moxman. Arches. So see ya. He's got this big ranged weapon there. We get this. So now we can put that belt on somebody like this guy. So, he's instead of getting physical might, strength, and constitution, I just want the strength. You just need to wail on things. And you can get this one. Strength and constitution. Yes. So, take that. So, CL. Much better. And then, what do we have? Oh, and we just have a constitution belt that doesn't make a difference on him. But, and he's got what? Strength and dexterity. Okay. All right. Next... What else do we see? These guys didn't have anything. These guys didn't have anything. You can see energy points. Daily income. Finance points. Daily income. Wow. Energy points. Resources. This is going to be daily income. Finance points. Oh, yeah. We want to kill that. All right. Oh, no movement points left. Okay. I'm going to skip a day. So you got to take care of these demons while you can, because then you're going to start getting invaded by demons and they'll come creeping up around here. So then you take them and knock them down and then you'll get a couple more, like a week, a week and a half of free time before you have to worry about taking out. Before you have to, you have to play offense and defense, offense and defense. And uh, that's how it works. You guys are down there. All right. Sure. That thing's going to advance. Cultists. I will shoot my wad here. Oh, that didn't quite kill them all, did it? Oh, but you're going to get a go again. Question is, do you want to just kill all those guys off or kill this off? It best to get the ba -bow. All right. Yeah, let's do this. Chunk. Skeletons are out there. Making the most of it. Oh, good. Shoot them then. 
They'll do less damage to my skeletons. Shoot them. That took care of that. Alright, you guys can't do anything. It's over. You're dead. Alright, this is nice. Get some points, some weekly points. So the enemy, which threatened to strike at the rear of the Crusader army, was defeated. The Crusaders can approach Jezen with no need to watch for an attack from the rear. That's text meant for before we got to Jezen. Finance points daily increase. Thank you. And then way down here, there's these guys. What is this? Broken phylactery of Stevanius the Rotten. Yeah, so that phylactery is a uh, makes a. It makes a really cool ring. Bunch of undead there. Hmm. I don't know if we can get them yet. I don't know if we're strong enough for that yet. So what we're going to do is head over here. And skip a day. I'm not worried about adventuring until we get a lot of this knocked out. So I'm sorry, it's going to be a little bit boring for now. There's Grimwood. you got to go all the way over there. we got to knock out all this stuff. There's uh, resources. Energy points, daily income. Unavoidable drill, don't care about that. Finance points there. Edge of force there. So we'll come down here. We'll take this demon army on. We'll get one of our first outposts, hopefully. All right. There's a bunch of undead animals coming after us. Plague wolves. <laughs> they didn't sound very happy about that situation. The undead. Let's see. Do this. Oh yeah, that went all the way down, didn't it? That's nice. So will that one. The A skeletons with the scimitars, straight out of Sinbad. Remember those old claymation Sinbad movies? Those were great. All right, daily income increase. Now, this was this the was this the army that gave me trouble last time? Dang it. It might have been. I can't get the mouse to cover up that arm. Nope. I don't think this is it. I think we should be able to take this one without too much trouble. One of these armies has a enemy general that basically can wipe out my archers in one shot. Unless I have like three or four hundred archers. So it ends up being a, a, a bit of a pain. Omoxes. Yeah. What about you guys? Giants. Ooh. Oh, you're dead now, though. Omoxes, wow. Babao. Oh, nice. Okay. There they come. And I'm like, hey, man. Are you kidding me? Doink. The Hell Knights kicking butt as always. Just got some of my guys there. Taking a dirt nap. It's all over and we got the first building, the first garrison, the first stronghold, whatever they want to call it. That's going to be the end of the episode anyway. So I'm going to show you what I do with these I'm trying to explain this also he gets a level up he gets haste slow fireball fireball is by far the most most impressive of those to have so we're going to manage stone maze it's one of the, our first captures this is what i do with them i put down you need a citadel to uh you can see what it says increases the time of a siege by a fort for three days it gives you time to get over there and then a garrison archery range and garrison stables is what I actually want. I need, what, 175 on that? So I need some more millet. I need some more points there. Okay. 
So garrison stables. And then I just leave it at that. There's a there's a building to put right here. Uh, that will give you a bonus later on when this and then this whole thing expands and it'll touch both of these and it adds like 10% to their offensive output or something. Um, I like to surround these buildings with all of the ones that give adjacency bonuses and then the rest ends up being things like supply centers and hospitals. So make it easy for my general to be super powerful doom stack run around and, and do everything that needs to be done. So that's it for this episode. Everybody, thanks for hanging out with me. We are in um we're in the middle game now. Act three, the longest act in the game. It's just clearing this big freaking map and doing all the little quests on it and a whole bunch of them haven't even popped up yet. We've got Grimwood <laughs> and Green Gates <laughs> and Winter Sun. So lots to do. All right, everybody, thanks for hanging out with me. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave questions and comments down below. I'll see you all next time.